Okay, welcome back to our tutorial series. Today we are going to be talking about how to delete a map from your project. So it's not as simple as you may want. Uh, currently, you cannot just delete a map from PoriMap using like, like a right click and delete. There's no option to delete it in PoriMap. You can't just hit the delete key. Um, it's a little more complicated than that. So to start with, we, we're gonna be deleting this map here that we added in our map connections video. Um, now, to start with, we want to get rid of our map connections to make sure that there are no map connections. We're going to save, um, make sure that's saved. Saved, good, okay. So now we're going to delete this map. Now there are, I think, four or five things that we need to do. Um, so to start with, we are in our Poke Emerald expansion uh, directory. We need to go to data, we need to go to maps, we need to scroll down to wherever little root extension is. Little root, little root extension. And we need to delete the whole folder. Just hit the delete key. Um, so we deleted the little root extension. Now we need to go to layouts and we need to delete its layout as well. So we deleted its map script data and now we are deleting its layout data so we've deleted both of those so that's what you need to do in terms of deleting outright files folders technically um, so we just deleted um, the data for this uh, this map now we are going to go to VS Code or your text editor and we're going to open three different files so the first one is in data that same folder we were in event scripts and this is just the include for all of the event scripts. It's just what uh, kind of pushes them all together so that you can call scripts from other um, from other maps. So this, whenever you create a map, your scripts file is added into this um, into this file. Um, as we see here, here's our new professor, our lab ones. I accidentally made a second one. I should probably delete that. Um, then you know we have our Pokemart, our Poke Center, our testing grounds. Well, that one you might not know about, but still. So this is the one that I just created this little root extension. So we just delete this line and we save. So next we go to layouts.json. It is in data layouts, layouts.json. And we scroll down to the very bottom. This is just some information about the, um, the layout that the, um, the, the game uses to uh, a render and you know store the you know information for the maps. So we just need to delete this entry. Make sure to delete the comma here. You want to delete all the way to the end. Um, so we are going to delete the last entry, which was the map that we wanted to delete. Obviously, it wouldn't be the last entry in yours if it's not the last map you created. But anyway, on to the next one. Data maps map groups.json. Very similar, um, but we are just removing. This is uh, the map groups. It defines this is the list of the map groups, towns and routes, indoor, 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 indoor blah, 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 blah. And then this is the actual towns and routes one. And this is the map group that I added this one in. So I'm going to delete it right here. Um, make sure to delete the last comma. Um, if you did not put it in maps and routes if you put it in indoor little root like here i need to delete one of these whichever one is not the right one i honestly don't remember i just need to organize my project um but you would find your map group and delete it from your map group just the entry so we have edited these three files we have deleted both of our folders that should be enough we removed our map connections and we have it set to mirror so it should remove it from everywhere it's possible that there are other things that you need to remove and um, you might get an error and you might have to look for it. If for some reason you defined a, um, a script in one file um, and then you called it in a, like I defined a script inside of my extension that I call inside of my Poke Center for some reason, uh, there's gonna be an error because it's not gonna be able to find that script anymore because you deleted the script and you deleted the include for the script. Um, so things like that might not be uh, like apparent to you, but you're gonna get errors and it's gonna have trouble compiling. I actually almost forgot one of the most important parts. We need to reload Pori script. Um, our project is already open, so we are going to just hit reload. If you didn't have your project open, you'd wanna just open it. There was an error opening blog for more details failed to read map data from decom so i've got a little root extension map json that shouldn't be a problem maybe we should oh it's because we're already in we're going to exit and then we are going to open in pori map again pori map pori map 
if you have that same problem, just exit and open back in. It should be fine the next time. So now we go, we scroll down to the bottom. There is no extra map. This is not, uh, it's gone. So now we see Little Root is back to the way that we had it. Um, now we can go and now we can run make. Okay, I actually uh, had one more mistake. I had got an error because I didn't run make clean. You should run make clean uh, after doing this, after removing the map, uh, because otherwise you might also get another error. So run make clean and then run make regularly, um, however you run make. Um, but it worked after I ran make clean and we can load up and now we see the map is gone It used to be here when I had it compiled um, But now I cannot go anywhere the map is gone. It compiles fine um, as long as you Make sure to edit these three files the event scripts.s layouts.json map groups.json remove the folder from data maps remove the folder from data layouts and then reload Porymap. Make sure to reload Porymap. You might have to exit out and reload back into the game if it's giving you an error, which very well might happen like you saw. Um, otherwise, if there are continued errors, you might have a problem with a script being used outside um, of where it's supposed to be. Make sure to open uh, up your search feature in VS Code or use grep in the terminal and search for the name of your map and or the name of the function if it gives you an actual function um, to see if there are any other references that it's possible that you could have missed. Um, otherwise, um, we will wrap up the video. Um, that is definitely it. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment here or in the Discord. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one.